difficult to sort of get back to that again. You know, you must be sitting there sort of sitting, sitting thinking to yourself, you know, what the f- am I doing here? You know, mm-hmm. it's, I, I, I'm getting fat, I'm getting, I'm not training, I'm not training, I'm not even being You're sitting in my pint, you're home with your scene, all this. Aye, you're sitting in your pint, all the things, all aye, the things. All the things that you would never do. Aye. But I, I always say, um, see, the, see the hardest thing, to, so you're talking about fighters here and seeing the difficulty, I always, I always say the hardest thing is, is to get into a cycle. A cycle of training consistently, and then the, I think once you're in that cycle, the hardest thing is then you take yourself out of it. Because when you just if you're in a constant cycle of training six days a week and you miss a day, you go, I don't feel as if I've done enough this week, so you're then chasing it. So you're, you're, you're not wanting to come out of that cycle, and then once you're out of it, the hardest thing is then get back into it again. Do you know what I mean? So I, I can, I've been through both stages, you know what I mean? I was in the so, cycle. So, what gets you out? What, what is the motivation that gets you from that? That's something I think talking about it. You know, to actually thinking, right, it's about time I got up off my arse here and get back into this, I need to do something. What's the motivation there? For what, me what personally, you, what's the switch that flicks it? Was, uh, it was a kind of mixed thing. For me personally, even though I was like having a rest and obviously kind of taking time out, if you like, I was still attending shows regularly. Um, so, I was I was attending shows and I've got people come up and saying, Oh, what's happening to you? How are you not fighting? How are you not seeing any videos on Facebook of you? What, what are you doing? And I was kind of like, Oh, I'm just taking a wee bit of time out the So the first kind of couple of shows I said, I'm just taking a bit of time out. And it kind of it happened again. I started going, I've been out for quite a while here. Do you know what I mean? I said, Maybe it is about time I get back. And it was a mixture um, of fighters and my mum and that as well, to be honest. So I mean, they were kind of saying to me, my mum and my dad, they were kind of going, What are you doing? How are you not training? How are you not fighting? Because at the end of the day, back when we were doing the fighters series, that's six days a week, that's all done twice a day. Do you know what I mean? So then they, they went for seeing me doing that to see me just kicking about the house, doing nothing, getting in for what I'm just going to go on and I'm not doing it the night. Do you know what I mean? So it was a, a mixer, but I'm glad it did happen. Do you know what I mean? I think as well, the time out. And it could have happened better. Do you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, like I said, it was. Part of, part of my thought was a bit of laziness. Did you during that time you tried a couple of different things as well? Because one of the times that I saw you uh, was at the Glasgow Fitness Centre's uh, gym wars. Uh, yep. And you were on the, so you were second chair of Ernie Showman yep. uh, on the commentary that night. That was, did, you, did you enjoy that? That was by absolute chance. I, I, if it was up to me, I'd have, I'd have said no. I tried to say no, but uh, Vinny Showman kind of egged me on and just kind of basically told me I was doing it. But uh, that was good. It was it was something different. That, that That's another example where I'd, just, I'd done a bit of a bit of boxing uh, in Raji's gym. I was just, although I was saying I was the taking, I was taking time out. I was still kind of doing wee bits. Like I tried boxing uh, in the local Barhead Amateur Boxing Club. I was doing there, and then I went to Raji's gym in Glasgow Fitness as well. And done a bit of boxing there, just kind of keeping fit and kind of the hunger was kind of come back. Wee bits and bobs, you know what I mean? So I was kind of getting in, getting in and out. Um, and again, it was me and Vinny that went to that show. I also bumped into yourself, bumped into Vinny Showman. So it was good. It was it, it was good. And that was another one where I'm going and people are saying, "When are you? What are you doing? Do you know what I mean? When are you going back fighting? When are you? When are you planning getting back?" So I was kind of setting, sowing me seeds. That's what it was doing. It was sowing me seeds in my head. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it must you must feel uh, you must feel the love for people, really. You know, when you're going to shows and so many people are asking when you're going to come back. You know, it's I suppose while you're doing it, it's easy to, to think that you know it's just you. You're doing this for yourself, but over the years you have built up a fan base. You know, and it's when you go to shows, especially when you're no fighting. You know, especially uh, you know when you're in the audience and people have access to you mm-hmm. uh, and they can come up and say, you know, hi, Jay, how you Aye, doing? Yeah. And, and, you know that you must feel the love at those points. You know, the, the, the fans coming up to. You. And this, this, this is going to sound pretty bad, right? But like you're saying, I built up a, a kind of fan base. But I was going to some shows and there was people talking to me, and like, I, I didn't know who they were. So, I, mean, like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't say all right, Peter, all right. So, I, didn't, I didn't know who it was. They were just coming up and saying they were saying, "Oh, you've no put videos up. You've not been fighting like what's happening." And I was saying to myself, "I don't really know them, and they're, they're, they're asking me." I said, "So there's something that's obviously." It's not just like my close friends that I've, I've noticed. Uh-huh. It's, it's, it's the the wider group that I've noticed. See, that's the thing. You do things like this. Uh, you know, when you sit down. You know, these videos are going to be up on YouTube. Going to be up on Facebook. You know, they're going to be shared with <laughs> your friends, my friends, and all the rest of it. You, you're going to be reaching an audience, uh, the, the, the people that will probably never even come to a show and see you. You know that you, that they'll be sitting in another country somewhere. Aye. Like well, they all like that guy J R Morrison, but they've never met you. They've never been to see you, but they still follow you on Facebook. Aye. And yep. if you meet them in the street, they'll be going. Yeah, I'll know you, you know, that's the thing. Aye, and it's, it's one of the ones where you can go, eh, uh, and you can just spark a conversation, and it's one of the ones you don't know the names, so you just kind of say, if it's a guy, you say mate, 
Do you know, just uh, continually just say, all right, yeah. mate, I am the back soon, mate. Do you know what I mean? Just don't know what I actually know their name. I mean, I'm, ter- I'm, I'm terrible for somebody that, you know, that spends his, yeah. he spends his life, uh, earns his living, you know, announcing mm. people's names. I'm terrible for remembering names, but it's more like I'm doing that. I mean, you've got that many. Remember. That's the thing, you've got that many, uh, many if you want one name. Is. Do you know what I mean? And it's, uh, I always say this to people as well, you know, it's kind of embarrassing for me, but I want to see a lot of the time, I don't actually recognise guys with their clothes on. Aye. <laughs> I need to see them in fight mode. Aye, I shorts, a pair of gloves, or Aye. shorts and MMA gloves, do you know what I mean? Because it's... Something that a lot of fighters don't understand, and I tell, I tell people this about the likes of uh, John Cullen, especially, you know, JC, uh, f- quite a formidable fighter. Uh, that JC, everybody who meets him says one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Uh, but I'm, I've got the, the privilege uh, when I'm standing in the ring. Not for the opponent and the referee, I'm the last guy who looks into the eyes of every fighter that, that says yep. foot in the ring. And some of them, like JC, Take on a completely different persona Aye. when they step in. You just there. see the face changing. That's the fighter I recognise. You know that. That's the person, that's the person, that's the person I recognise. You know, so when you see them outside the ring, it's sometimes hard to create the, the, the same. And person. adjust, adjust uh-huh. it as something. Yeah. And it's uh, you know you'll find that as well. You know uh, you know people. Uh, you must get people sort of looking at you thinking, oh, I recognise him as well. Because I get that occasionally. You know you'll get people that look at you and you, you see them. Aye, because you've not got the suit and that on uh-huh. the microphone, you're on. They kind of uh, double look you and say, is that sure? Is it no sure? They're not they're really sure whether it's you or no. Uh, so we're here. Uh, the Kellogg Bar, isn't it? Kill- the yep. Kellogg Bar. This is your your mum's pub. My mum's pub. Aye. Uh, you reminded me as well. Uh, uh, a famous boxer that used to help me. Aye. Uh, used to do the interviews at the, the pub. Aye. Which Ricky was Hatton. Ricky Hatton. Ricky uh, the Hitman. Ricky the Hitman himself. Although I just like to make my difference here. I don't sit in here and drink pints. <laughs> I'm in here with bottles of water. Do you know what I mean? I come in here and drink the place dry of water. I must admit, folk, like, yeah, there's, there's a bottle of water there, and a cup of coffee there as well. There's no alcohol being consumed today, as you would expect for a fight camp and a man that's driving home. Uh, so, do you spend a lot of time? Do you spend much time in here? Do you, do you help out? Is it? I, I, is it I do spend a lot of time in here. Um, I don't really, do, I don't really work a lot in, like, in here. Uh, I just kind of do. I'm the secret bouncer. I come in at the weekends and make sure there's nobody causing any trouble. Right. But uh, other than that, no, I'm, I'm in here quite a lot, but like I say, I'm mere in playing pool, I'm just in yeah. sitting with my pals. But again, I'll come in and I'll drink water. I mean, I'll, I could sit in here all weekend just drink water, and it doesn't bother me, do you know what I mean? So it's, I'm in here quite a lot, aye, and it's... I suppose your mum probably prefers that anyway, because... It's good it, as well, because obviously... If you were drinking beer, it wouldn't be going. <laughs> you wouldn't be putting any money through it until at least the water's cheap. Pull the main pints for their side of the bar. <laughs> So this place is going well, uh, mm-hmm. you know, it's a, a nice wee pub in the ocean. Is that, was that your local beforehand? Is this, is uh, it, was, it was one of them, aye. So you've got, you've got kind of three in Neilston. Um, but again, I've, I've, I've never been a massive drinker, Stuart, do you know what I mean? But, so before my mum got this, before when we were in the fight of realities, it was one down the road. Uh-huh. That's kind of, that was the kind of main base for my fans to go and come back to after, after my fights. But obviously now my mum's got this then. My fight in December, this will be the, the yeah. main base for everybody to come back to, do you know what I mean? So it'll be kind of... Pre party and after party, if you like. Yeah, it's good, at least you've got somewhere to go, you know, somewhere that the fans know you're going to be once, you, once you finish your fight yep. as well. So, the next thing we obviously need to talk about NTB, uh, NTB 2nd of November, 2nd uh, of December, 2nd of December, December, sorry, 2nd uh, of December show. Uh, going to be a cracking card. Uh, it's I think it's, it's looking really, really good. It's up to be a, a really good card. Uh, do you know who your opponent is yet? I do. Are you allowed to talk about it? Aye, this is, other than can I. Seen bits and bobs, my friend. That's probably the first that anybody's known. So I don't, I don't think there's been any posts or anything like that made up. So it's still being kind of released. I'm going to, I'm rematching Molly Dempster cool. on MTV. Oh. So when I rematch him, that will be give or take a couple of days. That'll be three years that's, that's to the sorry, date. That's a good one for the fans. It was, it was um, the one I really wanted the most. I think that's the kind of one that made me go right. I need to come back and do this because. The, the first fight, I know obviously we've already touched on it, but the kind of first fight, I don't think it's on YouTube, I don't, I don't think it is, but the, for the first four rounds, I dominated it, I just pressed the action, I'd done whatever we'd done in training, and then in the fifth round got complacent, and Wally, he, he took his shot, do you know what I mean? The, my hands were down, the chance was there for him when he took it, and that was it. So, there's been kind of wee bits in me that have just been eating away, eating away, eating away. So I thought, alright, I need to come back and I need to date for myself. It's no personal towards. Wally Dempster, it's a personal thing for me. Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? So I need to go right, it's, it's in my head, I go, I, I've got that loss, but I know it should have been a win. Yep. So I need to avenge it for that, I need to go, I need to go correct it. You've got nothing to prove to anybody but yourself. That's that, it, that, that's, that's, and that's, what, that's the way I'm, I'm looking at it to do as well. So I've got, obviously this fight in December, and then we're looking at another fight in March, but the new I'm just, everything 
his own December. I'm not. I'm not thinking. Oh, I could fight him or him or him in March. It's just everything to do with his own December. That's all I'm thinking about. And that's all. That's all I want to talk about. So you're you're seeing this now. This is you back. This is you back Aye. training. You're back to yep. fighting again yep. as well. Uh, so you're looking to, to set out the career path again. Uh, and, and, Aye. And Can I pick up where we left off, if you like? Correct a few things. Obviously, with this with this fight, correct that. Maybe correct another one if we can get the chance, and then and then move on, and just kind of basically go on the same path that we were on before. 